Hi guys, I hope you're all having a good Wednesday afternoon. As you can see, it's a slightly different setup for today. My mum is at work. We tried to film a video with both of us last night, but unfortunately the camera died. So it's just going to be me for today, and we're going to do something slightly different. A, again, the Wednesdays are generally the lighter videos, and today we're going to discuss Charlotte's artwork and her design work. I think art really served as a creative outlet for Charlotte. Um, unfortunately, as we said in previous videos, she was actually bullied out of doing the subject at GCSE, I believe it was. So we're just going to talk about that and talk about the kind of things she drew and yeah, let's get started. Starting chronologically, this is the first item we have. I believe this was done when Charlotte was about seven, so a very early piece of a little girl with a red dress and ginger hair. Um, so yeah, this was one of her first artworks and that is currently in our study. So that's the first piece. Um, slightly more basic than her other pieces, but we will get on to those. Chronologically, this would be the second piece we have. I think it's all a firm favourite of ours. Um, as you can see, it's a picture of a sunset with people dancing in the background. We have some animals and some marine life at the bottom. And I think we all just think it's a really beautiful image. It was actually done by Charlotte when she was at CAMS, um, literally just for her session. That's the Child Adolescent Mental Health Service. And I believe her um, actual therapist was so impressed that she wanted to keep it and Charlotte fortunately said no. So this is all a really important piece to us and it hangs in our kitchen very proudly and anyone who's been to our house will probably have noticed it. So definitely a lovely one for us. This piece here is a bit of pop art. I will probably upload a photo of this because I'm aware they're quite small but I can't really focus the camera on my own because the autofocus is so loud. What we have here is the Star Wars logo, Hula Hoops, Marmite, Smiley Face, Robina, uh, iTunes, a piece saying I love you. And this rather fetching, what I at first thought to be a girl, but is in fact Justin Bieber. And Charlotte used to get incredibly irate when I said that this figure, at first I thought it was a, a lady, but no, Justin Bieber, of course, um, being the perfect age to like him, I think Charlotte would have been about 15-ish, uh, year 10 or year 11, so 15 or 16. So yes, this is her pop art um, piece. Again, this is in the kitchen, another proud item that we show off to people. This, if you like, is the most detailed piece of Charlotte's work. I'll upload photos of this as well because it is, in fact, her design portfolio. Uh, lots of Toy Story stuff. As anyone who knew Charlotte and indeed watches his channel knows, Toy Story was a real passion of hers. So I'm going to upload some photos of this. It's really quite interesting, it's incredibly detailed and I think she did very well in this subject actually, I mean it's amazing how detailed it is and for someone who struggled a bit academically in a traditional sense, she really did excel with things that were more practical like design, um, putting things together with her hands. So yeah, I'll put some photos up of this because it's just really really great and I think it will give you a bit of an insight into her more creative side and I think that's a really important part of a person and a human being, so I think it's important as something to discuss on Charlotte's channel. As I say, this is a kind of lighter video. The Sunday videos will commence with the anxiety and then we'll get onto the nitty gritty, if you like, the more horrible aspects of the cancer. Um, for these videos, we just want to keep them a bit lighter and if you guys approve of that, please let us know and we will keep doing them. Or otherwise, if you have suggestions or ideas for a different slot, um, put them in the comment section, that'd be wonderful. So yes, um, this is kind of, this is, this is the latest thing we have of Charlotte's and as you can see here, I'll upload a photo, these are the outlines for a briefcase that she made and what it was, it was a Toy Story briefcase that was designed as a kind of educational kit so you had a whiteboard inside it and pens and pencils and it was just great and I'm going to try and upload some photos of that onto this video as an overlay because we can't find it anywhere and it did mine and my mum's head in last night because we spent ages looking for it we know it's somewhere in the house and we know it's going to be somewhere dry but we just can't find it, so I'll upload that Finally, these are two of my most treasured possessions, actually. These are two of the last things that Charlotte bought me. There's a book here, which is a fantastic read. Um, Eric Revilius. I'm very interested in art myself and I want to go into art history as a discipline. Eric Revilius is a Sussex artist and I'm very engaged in that. And it's just a wonderful book with beautiful illustrations and a lot of quite detailed, um, and a lot of quite detailed 
narratives about Revilius's life. Um, it's by an art historian called James Russell, and I was incredibly grateful to receive this as I really enjoy Revilius's work, and it's just a fantastic companion. This was the last thing I received from Charlotte as a gift. Um, this was at Christmas, actually, last year, um, Christmas 2015, and it's called Slater's Sussex, um, our overlay picture, and it's by Towner Gallery in Eastbourne, really great gallery, just along the coast from Brighton, for anyone who doesn't know Eastbourne. And it's about a woodcut artist called Eric Slater, who was heavily influenced by Japanese tradition, and Charlotte knew I really wanted this book, and I got the book and I've read it, and it's fantastic, and I'll always be grateful for these two, and they sit very um, proudly in my collection of books. Um, so yeah, I, mean, it was, I think it was just important to discuss some of the more artistic aspects of Charlotte and the things she gifted to me within that um, subject, I suppose. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. As I said, I'm going to try and put detailed pictures of what I've discussed as overlays for the video content, and hopefully you'll all find that interesting. We'll be back on Sunday, my mum and I, uh, Dynamic Duo, will be back. Um, and we will continue, and I believe finish, actually, the anxiety section. Don't hold me to that, but I think Year 11 is the last one we're going to do. And after that, we will go on to the cancer, as I say. So, I hope you guys found this interesting. I hope you like, comment, share, and please, please do throw suggestions into the comment section. As I said, we read them avidly, and we enjoy reading them, and thank you for all your continued support. Facebook group is up, as I said last video, so please um, follow that. That would be great. And Twitter, as usual, I'll sling up the, um, the Twitter name so you can follow that if you haven't. Okay, well thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice Wednesday afternoon, evening, and we'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye.